Well, hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Eat Acres. In this video, I thought I would share something very special with all of you guys. And I think you're gonna really like this because uh, this is a gift that a subscriber uh, sent to me, just out of the blue. I got an email from the subscriber and he said he wanted to send this. Um, I'm not gonna give his name because he didn't give me permission to. He didn't say if he wanted to be anonymous and he didn't say if he wanted me to use his name. So being that that wasn't discussed, I will just say a subscriber. But I first wanted to say to this subscriber, thank you very much. It's very, very thoughtful and kind of you to send this to me. And this is something that I can definitely use. If this don't catch the problem, then nothing will. This is how it came. In a case like this, he packed it very well in a box. And let me open it up and show you guys how it looks in the case. It's night vision binoculars that record with sound. This will record and do videos in both daytime and nighttime. And at nighttime, this can see an object as large as a house at 300 meters, a human being at 150 meters, and I believe it's a hare or a rabbit at uh, 50 meters. So the bigger the item, the further away it can see it. This thing is really cool. I've never owned one. I've never used one. This is the first time I've ever had something like this. And you look through this screen and then you can see a monitor in there when you turn it on. It has all kinds of functions on it. And this left lens is for focusing for when something's far away or close. This is how you adjust the focus on it. It does run on um, AA batteries. It has a pack of batteries on this side and a pack of batteries on this side. And then here behind this little rubber cover right here is a place to plug in a USB cable to download the um, video and sound onto the computer. Or you can just pull out the micro SD card right here, put it in an adapter and put that in the computer. And that's usually how I do it when something has a micro SD card. Uh, you can just uh, put it in the adapter, the larger SD card, and then put it on the computer. And that way, this doesn't have to be on while it's taking stuff off of it. Um, so it saves on the battery life. That's why I do it that way. It also came with a really nice um, carrying strap right here to hook to it. It also includes the USB cable to download the data from uh, this device. He also included... Uh, a brand new extra SD card. It has an SD card in it and included an extra one right there. And then it also has a soft lens cloth right here to keep the, the unit clean. And it has the book. It's very simple instructions. It tells you how to set it all up with time, date, and everything, the resolution, all that stuff. So I'm going to be reading a little further. I went over it quickly on the booklet and I'm going to be reading it more in depth because I do want to try this out tonight because last night uh, when we got back and we got home I was again hearing something up here in the woods where I always hear it up there through those trees I was hearing something taking a stick about that big in diameter about uh, three quarters of an inch to an inch in diameter something decent size to hang on to and whacking it against a maple um, uh, or a sapling, a skinny sapling. That's what it sounds like. And uh, I've been seeing strange marks up in there on some of the smaller trees, and I don't know if that's from that or it could be an antler from a buck. Um, it's not rut season yet, but who knows? Who knows, you guys? So I'm going to get this all set up for tonight, and it's ready to go. It's either got brand new batteries in it or the batteries are still good. And he said that uh, he didn't have much use for it, and he thought that I could put this to use to see what's on the property. And I think this is the perfect thing, you guys, because it does HD video, and it also gets sound, whereas just my trail cam gets video with no sound. So this does both. And like my trail cam, this will do both day and night. So uh, it'll be kind of scary to see what I might get on it. If I get something on it, I will definitely do a video and share it with you guys. And um, if, if this don't capture what it is that's in the woods that I have not been able to see, even though I've shined a, a high-powered flashlight, one of the brightest lights we have that through night sent to me to review, which I gave to Bridget, which was the Catapult Pro, 
Um, if I remember right, out of all the flashlights I've had, I believe that's the most powerful one. And as that, whatever it was that was in the woods, ran away from me, I shined the light right on where the sound was as it was running away, and I saw nothing, absolutely nothing. So I'll have to see if this will get something because I'll be looking in the woods in the pitch black of night and uh, scoping the property with this and uh, letting it record and just see what I find. And like I said, if I capture something on this, you guys, I'll put it on my computer. I'll include it into a YouTube video, make a YouTube video out of it, and you guys will be able to see um, how this thing works. I'm going to be showing video of it anyway, whether if I capture something or not, I'm going to be showing how this works. And there's the owner's manual to it. And this device is by J.S. Toon, T-O-O-N. And... Uh, I guess they sell them on Amazon. They sell them online, several different sites. Uh, I never heard of the product. I've never seen one, but I'm very excited to put this to this test to see how this thing does. It comes in a really nice zipper case, you guys, with a rubber handle here. So really, really nice night vision binoculars that record just like a camera. That's really cool. Um, didn't even know there was a such thing as this on the, on the market. Never seen one before. So if this doesn't capture what's going on in these woods, then I don't know what else to try outside of this. But this seems like this is going to be the device to get it done. And I'm a little creeped out to see what it might get, you guys, because I might be getting something on video that I really don't want to see on this property. But who knows? Because I'm not staging any of this stuff, you guys. What happens is what naturally happens. And Bridget has heard it when, she's, when I've called her outside to listen. She's heard the same things that I've heard. Um... She has heard things running through the, these woods when I go up and chase it off. And like I said, it's not a deer. It's not any animal that you can see with a high-powered flashlight. So I don't know what it is. And it throws things. And I don't know about you guys, but I don't know of any natural animal in the woods that can throw stuff. I just, I don't see how that's possible. So yeah, I don't know what it is. And it's not a person because I never see any lights on the property. I did see lights illuminating up here on the limbs without a beam going to it nothing to explain what was illuminating the limbs on this maple that comes out over the yard right here there's a big tree that kind of leans out over the yard towards the house it's actually a tree that we may might have to consider taking down someday because it's the only thing that's threatening the house if that were to fall it definitely hit it but I don't know what illuminated those branches. And then it did it again over on the other side of the tank over where the uh, sumac is, I saw it. But it wasn't quite as bright when it did that. But no explanation where the light source is coming from. No explanation on the, uh, the, the clicking of the sticks, breaking of sticks, throwing of rocks, uh, you name it. I've heard breathing in the woods, heavy breathing, deep breathing. Uh, something pacing around in the woods like it doesn't really seem like it's just passing through the woods it seems like it's loitering and hanging around and it seems to be really interested with this area of the woods up here where you go up the trail and it's only about 20 30 feet up from the trailhead right here leading out of the yard and why that is i don't know there is a game trail that does come down through here but the only thing that i've seen using it is just a bunch of doe deer and they're younger deer so I haven't really seen anything out of the ordinary. I've got a couple stray cats on the property. I did get one coyote, and the rest have been uh, just turkey. So I haven't captured a bear. I haven't seen, um, you know, like a lynx, a fox, uh, rabbits at night or anything. I haven't seen anything else. We get some rabbits here out in the front yard through the daytime, early in the morning feeding on the lawn, and that's about it. So... I'm definitely going to put these um, to the test, you guys, and see if this will maybe answer some questions, see what's messing around in the woods, see if I can get it on video. Um, if it can be, you know, if I can't see it with the naked eye, will this thing be able to see it? Will it pick it up? I don't know exactly what type of uh, lens it's got in it, but uh, we'll see what happens, you guys, because I'm definitely going to be using this, and I'm going to use it a lot because I'm always hearing stuff either down the bank, um, behind the fence, in the back of the house, down there in the creek, or it's up here, but it's been mostly up here on the main trail leading out of the backyard. I still have my trail cam set way out back, way to the edge of our property on a larger game trail that is heavily used. And I just left that mounted out there and I'm just letting it run day and night. And I'm gonna leave it out there for a while because I wanna give it time 
to see if whatever's coming into the woods is using that bigger trail up back versus this smaller game trail that's been pretty much new compared to the old existing game trail that's further up in the woods. So that's why I haven't had that down here or checked it in a while because I'm just letting that go. But tonight, I'm gonna have this thing um, on and I'm gonna be using it because I'm sure what I've been hearing will come back again tonight and it also seems to return on the warmest nights. And today we hit 90 degrees. It's very warm out right now. It's gonna be a nice warm summer night tonight and um, probably right around between 10 and midnight, 10, one o'clock is probably when I expect to start hearing some things right up here in the woods. And I'm gonna have this ready to go, you guys. And I'm gonna see what I can get. And hopefully it'll put some answers on what's going on. Maybe, can't, can't guarantee anything, you guys. I can't promise anything. I've never had one of these, never used one before, but uh, I'm gonna get familiar with it and get good at using it. And I'm gonna see what I can get on it. But I just wanted to give another thanks to, to you, the subscriber that sent it to me. I am very appreciative. Thank you so much. Just like the other subscriber that sent uh, the spotlights for the porch and the other subscriber that was kind enough to drop off a Husqvarna chainsaw to use on this property. To all three of you, thank you. Thank you very much. It means a lot to me, you guys. So uh, this is definitely a big help, just like all the other gifts are a big help. So together, we will see what we can get on this. Let me know what you guys think. If you've uh, used one of these, if you own one of these, um, if you've tried one of these, did it work well for you? Were you able to capture anything on it? Because I'm hoping to get something on this to uh, to answer the questions as far as what's going on on this property in the woods at night and sometimes late at night. I will be uploading some footage from this thing so you guys can see it in action. And uh, until then, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, you guys, and we'll see you again. Bye-bye.